Mahjong competition rules has 81 scoring elements. Really interesting combinations. Some are stackable, some are not. To help me memorize those scoring elements, I do an exercise that I call random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. For each random pull, we'll say we're the dealer, and we'll get 14 tiles. Then, with that player reference at hand, we'll look for scoring elements. Throw the tiles in, repeat. Zig Ziglar says, repetition is the mother of learning, the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. We have a flower. Let's get a replacement. Okay, for this, we have no honors. That right there is one point. No honors, one point. No honors. We also have a potential pure straight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pure straight. Pure straight is number 28. That's 16 points. I would push that right there. We could have this as our pair. Here's a potential chow right here. So we would have one, two, three, four, five blocks. If we discard these cracks, we would also have one voided suit, which is another fawn. No honors, one voided suit, pure straight. I think that's what I would try for here. 16 points for pure straight, no honors for one point, so that's 17. One voided suit is another, so that's 18 points. And then a flower, 19. I think that's pretty good. If you see something different in here, write east pull and what you would do differently. Pure straight, no honors. Flower. South pole. Okay, for this one, we have four, five, four, five. I wonder if we could do, hmm. Three, four, we would need to pair up right here or three four five mixed triple chow here's four five four five three obviously we're light in bams so I think what I would do here I would get rid of the terminals and the west. Focus on twisted pungs, mixed triple chow, or all sin. Oop, there's a nine. We have four discards to clear to all simples, two through eight. 
That's only two points though, so we need more score. I'm thinking either mixed shifted pungs with three, four, five, or mixed triple chow, three, four, five, four, five, three. So we're a little light here either way, but I think I would definitely discard the terminals and the wind, focus on simples, keep it tight, three through six, and see what happens. If you would do something differently, write south pull and what you would do with these tiles. We're going to do the west pull now. Two single honors, pair, pair, two, three, four, five, three, five, six, eight. I think I would do simples again. Get rid of the nine and these dragons. We have two pair, three away from all simples. I don't think we have enough pairs to push all pung. I think I would try some kind of chow combination in here. We do have three, five, three, four, five, but we're lacking BAMs for a mixed triple chow potential. We also have no four cracked for a shifted pung. Hmm. If we get twos, we could maybe do one, two, three mixed triple chow. There is lower four, number 37. That's 12 points. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's, that's really terrible. I would not consider that. I think I would do all simples, gather those tiles, focus on little numbers, two through five, keep it tight, and try to get either mixed triple chow or mixed shifted pungs. If you would do something differently, write west pull and what you would do with these tiles. We are on north pull. I think I would try for half flush, half flush all pung. We have a pair, 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 pair. We could pung all those. All pung is six, half flush is six. If you would do something differently, write North Pole and what you would do. But I would totally play half flush all pung. This exercise has helped me see shifted opportunities and mixed chows. You got to train your mind to see those patterns. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe gain an insight into the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.